Hey guys, I got a box of Japanese candies and snacks and stuff from Tokyo Treat. So we are going to try it all out. Actually shipped from Japan, customs declaration and everything. Japanese candies, snacks, soda, N no meat contained. Well, that's a downer. No, I didn't expect them to send me any meat. The soda is actually a surprise. So this gives away a little bit of what is in here. This is like a subscription box. They send different stuff every month. Oh my God, there's like so much more in here than I thought there would be. This might actually be a little bit of a challenge. So first things first, let's uh, dig out the soda that they alluded to. I don't know what this is, cause it's in Japanese. Oh wait, it says uh, Mets on it. Let's go Mets. As a New Yorker, I appreciate that. Did they send that to me on purpose? This is Mets soda. Super Thorn. It calls it Super Thorn soda. I don't know what that means. And this says, cool, exhilarating. Super Thorn, cool, exhilarating flavor. Whoa. I knew immediately from the smell what it is. It's watermelon soda. Wow, it's actually really good. So now like, okay. Now the bottle like makes sense. It looks like a electric watermelon or something. That's actually delicious. We've got Lucky Cone. He's got a corn man and his corn family. So I take it this is a corn snack. Yeah, it looks like corn buffs. Oh yeah, this is like corn puff cereal. It's good. It's like lightly salty, a little bit sweet. I like this Lucky Cone Corn Man bag, but all that corn needs a little drink. The watermelon soda so far, my favorite thing though, that's amazing. Bluefish. Okay. Oh, you can smell it right away. It smells like Sherbert or something. Mmm. Oh my god. It's super creamy on the inside. I thought it was gonna be dry all the way through. And that honestly was like, oh, this is gonna be like waffle cone, you know? But it is like waffle cone on the outside. And like creamy, like blue raspberry flavor. So it's like the ice cream versions of this, but obviously it doesn't have to be cold. It can ship, it can, you can eat it anytime. I was like, okay, now this is my new favorite. The little fishy. And guys, it's so cool. Oh my, this is big. Guretama. The Japanese take their food packaging very seriously. And I appreciate it, so you know it's safe. Little little chocolate treat. Creamy. Sugary. That's just like a nice chocolate. And you know, of course it's fun to have the egg yolk gudetama branding. No, these are really, these are really, really good. I'm gonna have one more. I don't want to eat too much because we have like so much stuff in that bag to get through. Really good ratio of chocolate to fill in. I'm not big on like just chocolate. Unless it's like dark chocolate, I really like dark chocolate. But milk chocolate can be a little too sweet for me. But with the filling, it's a good contrast. Good balance. Mm, 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 mm. I don't need more watermelon soda. This should be marketed in the United States, this is amazing. This watermelon soda would do so well. Aaron, you sell it in New York City? Mets, go Mets. We have these Colby chips. Uh, I guess it's lemon flavor. Don't even need to try to read it. It's got pictures. Thank you for the pictures, Japan. Oh, that is a strong lemon odor. I've never had a lemon potato chip before.
first off, before you even get to the flavor, the crunch. The crunch is spectacular. I thought it was both a product of, you know, they're cooked right, and there's like, I guess, a little bit thicker cut than some chips have that gives it a very full body. Mm. Lemon is a very unique flavor for a chip. Never had a lemon chip before. I think they did it well because it's not too salty, but to like my American palate, it almost tastes like an, a dessert because I'm so used to lemon being a flavor of cakes and lemon curd and lemon bars and lemon meringue. But that's my cultural um, lacking or my cultural limitation that puts that dessert label on lemon when I think it actually really works well in the savory. I mean, of course I'm used to lemon, like lemon and fish, so lemon and savory is not foreign to me, but it's something about this gives me slight dessert vibe, but I love it and it's unique. Definitely worth trying this. We're seeing what other flavors they have in their next box. Well, right off the bat, here we got fried potato and little spud boy. Well, Japan, we do have fried potatoes here, I will tell you that. Is this what they think of America? Oh yeah, it is. It says USA and has a little fake flag thing on it. So this is what the Japanese think of America. I'm ready to be insulted. What a classic fry. I mean, it tastes like potato. <laughs> That's so funny. I mean, you know, we have like hot fries so you can get in the bag here. But these are just kind of lightly salted. They're good. Though there's nothing wrong with them. And they are satisfying. I feel like give them a little bit of flavor though. You go an extra mile seaweed teriyaki or something. I don't know, it's good. I really have no idea. Is this like nuts? I'm gonna try to translate this one. Cloud ban. I don't think that's a flavor. I, we'll just, we're just gonna have to go with our taste buds, buds on this. Wow, they're like little crispy rice. Yeah, they're rice puffs. There's like a sugariness to the sauce. And then, oh, there's a deep savoriness after that. You can tell it's sugary from the like the stickiness and what holds it together. But there's a deep savoriness that reminds me of sesame and soy. I think it's like sesame and soy, a little sugar. Maybe there's a touch of garlic, ginger in there, but not very much. I will give you guys the specifics, but I cannot read that. I really like this. This is savory sweet right up my alley crunchy damn dog who this man who this man and what is this weirdly shaped tube snack i have no idea only one way to find out oh what excuse me oh, that is oniony like an onion giant corn puff dowel rod got a hole down the middle Good, savory. They're really into these like corn puffy snacks with unique flavors that we don't have here. And it tastes like a sour cream and onion potato chip, but in a corn puff in a tube. Easily snackable, I guess. I'm not finishing these because I have a lot to go through and because I want to share them with my wife because I'm not an insensitive, terrible man. This is some kind of vegetable shaving thing. I think it's like vegetable jerky. Oh. <laughs> Dog. Oh, dangerous. Oh, I know what this is. I watched uh, a documentary about 
Cool. Growing those in Japan. This is actual um, light wasabi flavor. Oh, wait, I, it has basically English on it. Wasabi nori. So is that seaweed nori? It's just like wasabi seaweed jerky. This is it good? It has the right amount of spicy. I dig it. Ooh, spice kind of sneaks up on you. Tohato caramel corn. I like the shape. Sweet and fun and light. Crunchy. Just like a delightful little heck. A little bit of that almost burnt caramel sugar flavor. This soda though, this soda, it's amazing. Worth it all just for the soda that I've, like I shop at Asian grocery stores and stuff all the time here in New York City. We're lucky enough to have that. I've never seen this soda. So, worth it alone for the soda. Here we go, another stick shaped thing. This one feels weird. I don't know what this could be. What? Is this like a giant thing of taffy? Soda chewing candy. It does taste kind of like Sprite, but in a chewing candy, which honestly I really like. We should have Sprite candy here in America. Come on. Very chewy. What is this weird king eating? I have no idea. Oh, they're little cookies. Little cookies on the packaging, they're like kind of green. They're kind of green in real life. Oh! Unsuspected cream filling. It's a nice chocolate filled cookie. I can't complain, I love it. Thank you, little king dude. Look at that good cookie. Alright, this looks. Oh, this has directions. Um, I guess I gotta mix a pack in some water and stir it up. And I put in the powder. Oh, did I put in way too much? Or is this supposed to be like a soda because they give you a straw? Let's taste it. Oh yeah, it's just like gelatin. Like, limey, fun gelatin flavor. It's good. Fun snack does require water. Maybe not that great on the go, but fun treat at home, especially for kids. I think this is like dried rice. I'm really careful opening it. Oh yeah, okay. It's kind of like a trail mix. I really like it because it's crunchy, the flavoring is salty and satisfying and Soy sauce E. I can't read any of the ingredients E. Sweet snacks are great, but I'm a real savory dude. Which makes me excited about this. I think these are curry potato sticks. What are these curry potato sticks here? Oh, I like the. Okay. There were those like plain potato sticks earlier, but these have like ridges and they've caught a lot of some kind of like flavoring on them. Curry flavoring. Super crunchy. That's really nice. Curry sticks. Delicious. I don't know what this anime is, but it has a cookie associated with it, so. I will. Oh, it's like a. It's like a Twix in the shape of a log. Let's break it. Okay, so I think we got strawberry flavoring in here because of the pink and some kind of cream. It's incredibly light. The strawberry flavoring is wonderful. The chocolate's gooey and the little cream layer in the middle. Fantastic, and a must have if you're a fan of whatever this is. I mean, that looks like a tuxedo mask outfit, but that's a little bit old for kids these days. 
Ooh, more watermelon, like our watermelon soda. And it's got a cute bear with a watermelon hat. I appreciate that. Reminds me of the uh, Steven Melons from Steven Universe. Oh, look how cute that is. Mm -hmm. I just love it with like a good sugar coated gummy. And watermelon's such like a light, fun flavor. Not overpowering. Winner. Everybody's favorite Japanese snack that's been sold here in America, I think for a while. But you know, there are all these like flavors that you can't get here usually. This is a choco mint, which mint choco is one of my favorite flavor combinations. It's like one of my favorite ice creams. I remember being in high school and going to anime club. I know, I know, terrible. I was total, total weeb. Um, and like we would have Pocky and we would think we were like, we're like, oh, we have Pocky. Like we're sophisticated international people. We didn't even know about no Choco Mint Pocky. No, this is one of my favorite flavors of Pocky I've had so far. There's like a cookies and cream Pocky is pretty good. I don't know, all Pocky is pretty good, but Get yourself some Pocky imported from Japan in cool, unique flavors other than what, like strawberry, chocolate, vanilla, the basic ones they have like at American grocery stores. Mm. That's yummy and refreshing. Just like the way that mint feels cooling without actually having to be cold. It's one of my favorite things about it. I wonder what the science is behind that. But thank you guys for watching me try all these fun Japanese treats. Thank you, Tokyo Treat, for sending me all the stuff. If you want to get your own box, click the link below. Different cool stuff every month. Unique fun things. And holy crap, is this Mets soda good? I am now the unofficial Kirin Mets watermelon soda spokesperson for the United States because it's my new favorite thing. Bye, guys.